Hey guys, what's going on? Lucky here. So I uh, had a pretty productive Sunday, uh, weekend I guess. Um, started wiring the Mach 1. Got the harness laid up in there. This is a uh, American Auto Wire. It's vehicle specific. Cool part about that is it comes with a factory style switch with the goofy spacer. Fits it at the right angle. Same with the ignition switch, sport style. Use their lock cylinder and key. It includes a dimmer control, high beam, low beam, goes on the floor. And courtesy lights are going to the dash. It's just to name a few of the cool features. It comes with a couple of maxi fuses, or mega fuses, bigger than maxis, to uh, protect the car in case of an accident or direct short. And I like the way they do their factory style fuse box with uh, ATC or blade type, type fuses. Um, where we started pulling the harness, lightning harness comes through the stock location. And then engine management, transmission control, uh, sensor wires all come out behind, basically be under the air cleaner, direct to the motor. That way there's no wires jumping from the wheel wells or anything. I usually reroute a couple of wires because I want to uh, have fan controls, um, external controls, anything else. We're going to do a battery relocation. So what I'll end up doing is putting a bulkhead fitting probably on the firewall and pulling the harness or the main power cable to the rear of the car but we'll have a convenience center up here, basically that bulkhead fitting where if we need to jump the car, put a charger on it or uh, grab uh, you know, another power source, we can conveniently find it all up in the front of the vehicle or firewall area. Um, mounted the fuse box in the stock location. All the way up underneath there, little tech tip. It's a lot easier to put all the fuses and relays in before you install. Mount that to the firewall. It's a little bit of a pain to get to but it's where it's designed to go. I'm also, I use a couple of Adele's and I use an oversized Adele to run the harness above the steering column so that when the dash goes back in, there's enough room if I need to route another wire or uh, something to that effect. The, those Adele's aren't so tight that they uh, are you know, choking the wire where you can't get anything through. So enough there to run some extra wires. When it's all said and done, I'll zip them up. Another cool thing about American Auto Wire, well, most aftermarket wiring harnesses, they do a thing called a convenience harness or an accessory harness. So this has fuse source, ignition, battery, constant, and uh, I think it says lock, unlock, window, stuff like that. So if you add those features, you don't have to go tapping into stuff. You can go right here to this plug, put some terminals on it, run that harness, and you're still fused to the stock fuse box. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward gig. We have another steering column for it, so all that ugly wiring down there will go away. Um, I'm gonna yank all the wiring out of this car. Just, I have no confidence in anything that's in the car. So it's all got to go. Um, what else? That's really about it for this thing. I did take a little break today and shoot out to uh, the P.O.L. show. P.O.L. had a uh, this performance online. Had an open house today. A burnout competition. And uh, all kinds of their uh, vendors. Curry was there. Uh, Alden American was there. Uh, uh, Fitech was there. Um, a lot of people were there. So I went there. Checked that thing out. It's, it was about an hour drive. Jumped in the C10. Shot out there. Just missed the burnout competition. They did try to dirt bag me into uh, going down in there. Uh, this, uh, this show, the burnout competition, was in their loading dock in the very back. It looked like a suicide spot. So, yeah, I didn't get into it. But uh, it was still uh, pretty good. I just missed it. Shucks. Um, other than that, that's it. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. It's about wrapping it up for today. It's after 4 o'clock. Um, that's it. Um, oh, well, I guess I can show you guys this. I'm fabbing up a new shift plate to uh, raise the transmission angle, change the engine angle or motor angle and transmission angle um, in the Chevelle. So I took the shifter off and fabbed up that little aluminum cover. Um, my aluminum welding skills are not honed as they should be. So tomorrow we'll hit up my buddy Wesley Kent. Have them throw a little bead around that, and then I will scuff it. Probably just clear coat it, because I like the aluminum look. 
and then put the shifter back on. And that should take care of the little minor vibration I had in this thing. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment, uh, share if you enjoyed the video, if anything helped you out, great. Um, definitely leave a comment. I like hearing from you guys. Uh, let me know what you're building. Um, stay safe out there. See you later.